So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys, I bring you 5 of the best weapons you can get early on. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on so you never miss a video guys, okay? So there's many weapons in this game, but considering the game's brand new, you obviously want weapons you can find straight away and today guys i bring you five incredible weapons you can find more or less straight off the bat minimal work here as well no real hard bosses at all to fight and defeat here i mean there's smaller enemies in certain instances there's a guy that's pretty tough but you get the assistance of an npc so it isn't too bad either so yeah guys five incredible weapons you can grab straight off the bat so in no particular order guys, first up we have the flail. So the flail is a weapon, which is basically a ball and a chain, so I call it. Uh, but to be honest, it's this one's probably the easiest to get here, more or less, and it's located within Gatefront Ruins. So you can see on the map right here where we're at, uh, you basically spawn here, come up north, and it's probably best to activate the uh the site of grace just to make it easy on yourself just in case you do accidentally die uh, but the uh, site of grace is just east of this as you can see on the map right here so come here first activate this and then just head the way i go now you don't want to attract the attention of the whole camp here you just want to come up to these two guards behind this massive portable station thing i don't know what this is guys so the first guy i'd probably recommend you stealth killing the second guy just take out and then once you've done that guys, as I do on screen now, just simply open up this chest that's located at the back of this wagon thing. And it is as simple as that guys. Now obviously I can't showcase to you the best of my ability, these weapons in action, because obviously my build uh, would have to be so diverse and because it's early stages, I just can't wield all weapons properly because of just my build it limits me in doing that. But I'm hoping within the five weapons I will showcase today, there should be at least one that interests every individual play style. So yeah guys, this one first up, the flail. An amazing locking weapon for sure. I'm pretty certain with the correct build as well. This will do some serious, serious damage. Now this weapon skill is called spinning chain, which basically spins the striking part of the flail. A super high speed, looking absolutely badass, which you can then combo into normal and heavy attacks. So yeah guys, the flail is first up on my list of five. Next up guys, we have the Great Axe. Now this is the one I know will interest quite a few people, I'm not going to lie. Because if you remember Great Axes in uh, Dark Souls and games like this, we all know that they're, they're the slower kind of weapon, but they hit with some serious force. And this one is obviously no different. So this one's probably one of the more trickier ones to get. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but you will have to take out a few enemies here now if you got your mount if you got torrent then you'll be completely fine so just east of where you actually enter the open world you'll see this path right here now along this this path from the top of the road to the bottom of the road you'll see a, a carriage being pulled by two trolls and basically the loot is located at the back of this actual carriage this wagon but to stop the wagon you have to kill at least one of these trolls now it's quite easy if you've got the hang of the combat system in this game but if you've got your mount it's even easier because you can just slice in and dodge away like i do well at first i don't i kind of like fail and it stamps on my head but you can just slice the legs and you only have to kill one of these by the way so just slice the legs and run away slice the legs and run away just avoid that stamp and you should be completely fine now you'll see it on mine there is one of those annoying night dudes on that flipping horse that was just chasing me and i didn't want to fight him so i was trying to avoid him as best i could but i eventually just led him away because he ain't actually a part of the group because there's these two trolls got well pulling the wagon around it there's quite a few enemies but the enemies are all super easy to take out there's no issue there whatsoever like i said it was just a guy on a horse that was doing my nothing but when i eventually just kited him away he ignored me i come back killed all the ads and it's got the great axe at the back of it and yep it's a pretty cool weapon guys i'm certain you guys will love it if this is your kind of thing now its weapon skill is called barbaric raw it grants you a boost to attack power while, while also giving your heavy attacks powerful combos making it a very 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 useful weapon so yeah guys the great axe is a must get in my opinion 
Next up, guys, we have the Meteorite Staff. Now, I know this is going to interest just a sad, just the name of this thing. You know this is going to interest you people. So, yeah, guys, if you're making an intelligence focus build, this is probably the weapon for you, especially early on. And because the Meteorite Staff has an S rank uh, scaling with intelligence and very high sorcery scaling, obviously, it means that every point you invest into intelligence, you'll get way more damage, people. And the best thing about this weapon, guys, is it comes fully maxed out. So you don't have to level this thing up. But in saying that, it may mean that staff you find later on in the game may just outdo this one. So this staff is located within the Street of Sages Ruins. As you can see where I'm at on the map right here where I'm actually going to. Now, to be honest, the area can be a little bit chaotic. But if you're just on your mount and you run straight the way I go to, um, it should be relatively easy for you. So I'd, if I were you, I'd run in here and run straight back out. As you see me do on screen now, so just follow what I do, guys, and get this staff. Next up, people, we have a weapon called the Twin Blade. An amazing looking thing for sure. And this one is probably the easiest. I mean, I've said that earlier on in the video, maybe. But this one's definitely the easiest to get. So you just want to come to the Dragon Burnt Ruins, which you can see on the map right here. Um, it's right next to basically 30 seconds away from where you actually come into the open world. Um, so just basically come the way I'm going. Now you need your mount for this because the wall, uh, the place it's actually located, you can't get over there. I don't think you can get in there without your mount. So with your mount at hand, come here. You may have to take out a couple of these weird looking monkey dogs. But as soon as you take them out, guys, just run around the back and jump over this wall as I do. And go down these steps, people. And waiting for you after you open the door will be this twin blade. Which, guys... It's amazing. So the Twin Blade's uh, weapon skill is like a spinning slash kind of thing. It's a fast spinning attack for sure. It does use a decent chunk of your FP though, but this is out some decent, decent damage, guys. So yeah, come get the Twin Blade. It's probably one of the easiest weapons to get, like I said, and it's right next to where you come into the open world. Okay, so lastly, people, we have Red Uvia, I believe that's pronounced. R e d u v i a. Red Uvia. Red Uvia. I don't. I don't know, people. I don't know. All I know is this thing is incredible. So you gotta get it. So to actually get this thing, you need to come to Lime Grave, where you can see I'm at on the map right here. Relatively straightforward. Not gonna lie. So you can see just basically kind of northeast. So you want to come to this area. You can see I've got quite a few grace points around this area. But this is the one I just keep running back from. And I'm not going to lie, this guy uh, you have to kill took me out a couple times because I didn't actually understand what was going on here. So from this point right here, guys, it's probably best to pull out your mount because you got to jump down. Now, there's probably an easier way of getting down, but you probably just have to run or just travel a distance. And I'm not about traveling distances. I want to get my shit straight away. So what I was doing was I was just jumping down. I was finding a, a, a nice path to jump down. Uh, and I was just jumping down. I did that a couple of times, not going to lie. My leg, my horse's legs just don't seem as solid as it used to be. Don't know why. So I jump down here and you'll come up this way and you'll notice you'll automatically get chucked off of your horse. Now, if you keep coming forward and go left, you'll see a message appear on your screen that says, Invaded by Bloody Finger. Norigius, I believe that pronoun. I ain't got a clue. Well, yeah, you're getting invaded anyway. And if you look upstream, you'll see that there's a guy glowing red running at you. And he wants to take your ass out. Now, I first tried to fight this guy. And he was just melting me. He's fast. He's powerful. He throws shit at you. And I was like, I just can't take this guy out. I'm going to just forget. I'm going to come back later with something big. and just. But then all of a sudden, an NPC spawns in to help you. So if you hang around a bit, if you avoid this guy's attacks for about a minute... Uh, I would recommend definitely using your shield and trying to block his attacks because that really works. 
the dodging for me just wasn't working because it's just it's too fast so yeah if you can avoid him for about 30 seconds to a minute which wasn't too hard in the end you'll get an npc spawning to help you and the best part about that is guys it just takes his attention away so you can just run up behind him and keep slashing him and all this that and the other now if you leave him for too long he will take a health potion and get his health back so keep that in mind guys but once you actually kill him you get one of the better weapons in this game i have seen so far it's called the reduvia which is a, basically a super powerful dagger now this thing's fast it's nippy it's nimble but it also has a ranged attack as its special skill it will use a small amount of fp but you fire bloody projectiles that cause enemies to bleed out so why wouldn't you want this guys so yes come and get this reduvia it's probably the best early weapon you can get in this game that i have seen so far now if you guys have found any other weapon early on we don't even have to be early on hit me up on my discord i'll be sure to check it out and if i enjoy it and cover it i'll give you credit no doubt about it but there we have it guys five amazing weapons to get early on in Elden Ring and I hope the video helped you out. If you did leave in a like it really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more Elden Ring be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.